you stop following me this way? I know you're all cold and wet. I oh, know. Feeling a bit miserable. I'm afraid it's going to get That's even worse now because it's time, everybody, for Beat Back Show! Yeah. I'm sorry, Steve. That's all right. Oh, you're all right. Don't yes, slide off. Fine. Okay, ready. I'm loving all your questions that have been coming in from the website. Thank you so much. The first one is brilliant from Asia Gymnastic Dolphin. Let's see if you know this, Steve, it starts off with. I like your style. Um, what is special about wombat poo? Um, it's pretty much square, is what's That is correct. How does it make square poo? Um, no, let's not go there. People eat an everything. Yes. <laughs> let's not worry about that. Um, Emerald Spiky Jaguar says, what is the name of the fastest swimming bird? The fastest swimming bird? Well, it's going to be a penguin. Um, let's see, what would it be? I, I would imagine it's probably a king or an emperor penguin. It's a Gentoo penguin. Gen penguin. It's a peng oh. it's a penguin though. You're gonna give me that. Uh, no, you can't give me that. It's not the right kind. It's not the right kind of penguin. Well, it's still a penguin. Anyway, on with the next one from Starstone Biscuit Mouse. Good name. How many times in a minute does a hummingbird flap its wings? OK, well, that varies tremendously depending on what they're doing and also on the species as well because uh, some of the smaller ones have much, much faster wing beats than the larger okay. birds. Um, the, the ones that actually will go into a mating flight and do particular kinds of ritualised flying, which is done to impress the females, are the ones that have the fastest wing beats and they're thought to get up to about 200 times a second. But more likely during normal flight, 40 to 60 beats a second is, is really quite extreme. Yes, that's right. I'm just getting a bit bored of nodding my head. Uh, uh, ready for a question from Olive Gymnastic Elephant? Right, nice. How much water can an elephant hold in its trunk? Oh, I think it's about 60 litres, isn't it? How many? 60. <gasps> it's 14. That's oh, quite different. miles off. I miles think we might have beaten factual. Very good. Well, and our last one. Blue Violet Happy Swan says, are there any venomous birds? And if so, what are they? There's, there's no venomous birds, but there are, uh, there's three species of poisonous birds called Pitohui that come from uh, from New Guinea. And there's also ones called Ifrita as well, but not as poisonous. I don't believe it. He got it absolutely right. Let's hear it for Stevie B. We <laughs> did catch him out with one question. But can we catch him out with more questions next week? If you've got a great question that you think will catch Steve out in Beat Back Shawl, get on our website, go to Steve's page, click where it says Beat Back Shawl and write your question up there. We want to hear your questions. We'll try and catch him out next week. OK, you've been sending us pictures all morning of your brilliant birds. Thank you so much if you have sent us one of those. Kelsey, you sent us a lorikeet. Oh, that's a pretty bird. We've also got Eve. You've been down to the zoo and sent us a picture of a penguin. Nice work. And also, Jack, you are here holding an eagle owl. Oh, like I got to hold in Dudley. Aren't they magnificent animals? Don't forget also on our website, the game Deadly Dash. Try and get Steve to the truck before he gets attacked by deadly animals. So do check out that game on the website. And you've also been sending us your lovely pet stories as well. Um, Sepia Rugged Rose, you say, my chickens sit on the sofa. Do they really? To watch Live and Deadly, I like that. And Emerald Popular Eagle says, my cat used to hide in shoeboxes and peep out of the holes. That is very cute. Talking of which, I think you're going to like our next guest. It is the star of Dead Cute. It's this lovely alpaca. Hello. Now this, you are Liz, aren't you? Yeah. And you're looking after, what's this? Satchmo. Can I stroke Satchmo? Yeah. You're are they cute? Are they this, friendly yeah. animals? Hello. Like as well. Oh, and very, very soft. So you use their wool for making scarves. Yeah, scarves, hats, So this is made from yeah. alpaca wool. They come in 25 natural colours. So it's softer than sheep's wool, isn't yeah, it? God, it feels lovely. So they are good-natured animals. Yeah. They are cute. Yeah. Uh, but they look a bit like llamas, and the thing I know about llamas is that they spit. Would um, Satchmoo spit at me? No. Oh, the only reason they will you... spit is to defend themselves. OK. Or if it's a male dominant thing. So provided you're being nice to Satchmo, you're not you going to get spit, no. are you? Spit at? No. See? Cute! Yes, but this is the like part you. of the show <laughs> that we like to call cute but deadly, isn't it? Yes. Is it dead cute? It's dead cute. Dead cute, dead cute. So I've got to try and convince you that they're, they're deadly with the what big they eat? pointy teeth. Well, the grass. Oh, grass. Um, deadly no grass. Oh, <laughs> scary. Yeah. I tell you what, let's look at some of these an animals interacting in their natural environment. Okay. Oh, biting of the knee, 
knees are ooh, scary, quivering in our boots. Do you know what? This wasn't my idea. I didn't want to do alpacas as dead cute. They're the least deadly animals. And look at his little hair. <laughs> he couldn't be less deadly. Yes, I give that's up. It. I can win this one. I've won him over. You Fantastic. Have. Well, I know Steve is more at home with the creepy crawlies of the world. So let's see how he got on last week at the deadly day out. Yes, I am attempting to do paddle boarding and I'm here with Rowley, paddle boarding expert who's hopefully going to stop me falling in the water today. So, Rowley, okay. how do we do it? What do I do? Okay, cool, right, keep your knees slightly bent. I'm just going in towards the short moment. Yeah, slightly and bent. look where you want to go to. Okay, we're going over there first. That's it, and then we want to scoop the water with the paddle. And keep it close to the boat? Yes, that's right. Okay. And we'll just keep you away from the edge there a little All bit. Right. I'm sure you're thinking this looks really, really easy. Roly's making it look effortless, but I promise you I'm having to grip every single muscle in my body to stop me falling in the water. It's sort of all over body workout, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think so, because you're standing up, you get to work every single muscle in your body. Okay, okay. so you need to turn around. Yeah, so we're How gonna turn it? around this way. So if you start to look this way here. So just paddle this side? Yeah, bring the paddle away from the board. Okay. Start to look this way here. Oh, I'm just going off into the full okay. rushes, I paddle, paddle backwards on this other side. Paddle backwards. That's it. Oh, I might just, I might just head off onto the broad. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a good way to go out and see wildlife, isn't it? Because it's so quiet, I imagine you can get very close to the wildlife without them seeing you there. Absolutely. There's a, there's a place about half an hour away from here where you can actually paddle and uh, deer will come down into the water and they're actually swimming alongside you. Swimming alongside deer. Yeah. How yeah. lovely. That's stunning. That would be fantastic. And you did that right near here? Yes. Only half an hour away from here. Cool. Well, show us some of the expert things a paddle boarder who's a bit more advanced can do. Okay. Well, you can, you can try paddling the board backwards. You can also jump around on the board. Yeah, I think I'll leave that to you for now, yeah. I think I'm just trying to manage just going forwards at the moment. No, I think you're doing great. So where did paddle boarding originate from? Oh, uh, Hawaii. Hawaii? Yeah, it was, it was a way that they, uh, they used to teach surfing by standing up and then you could actually see the waves coming in and look after your group. Oh, that's a good idea. So you don't do that anymore? Uh, I don't think so, not so much. Uh, uh, nowadays people are stand up paddle surfing. So, you know, it's, this is lovely. Yeah. And isn't um, land paddling hot on the heels of paddle boarding? Yeah, there's a new sport just come out which is just like this but, uh, but on land with wheels. Wow, that'll be it's cool. Great time. Well, I am really enjoying myself. I'm going in the wrong direction now. That's all right, Amy. I'll tell you what, come Steve, into land. I don't trust you. Come into land and I'll just help you off. <gasps> <laughs> I am in so much trouble. You are so dead. <laughs> it's quite nice we couldn't here, possibly though. go through the whole program and Naomi be the only person that didn't get soaking, <laughs> sopping I wet. Might just stay in here for the Come rest on, of the sweetheart. Program. Come on. Oh, Come on. Thank you, Steve. But don't pull me in because I'm wearing my microphone. Yeah, right. and she still doesn't trust me enough to help her out about that. <laughs> Oh, right, dear. we've got a whole bunch of comments coming. Are you all right That's there? A good sport, I like it. Oh, I'm sorry that. about that. I'm doing that. Don't worry. <laughs> right, we've got some comments have come in from you lot. The first one is from Diamond oh. Loopy Baboon, who says, oh, I hope his bite, bite is all right. It is, it's absolutely okay. fine. Okay, yes. Good. Yes, and we've also got Gold Rocking Frog who says, that's going to be my challenge today, help a toad cross the road. Good for you, nice one. Yeah, do keep going on the website, keep sending us your bird pictures, won't you, this week? Yes, fantastic. Right, let's, Helen, come on in, come on in. Um, You're looking a bit drier than me. Yes, <laughs> I do feel bad about tipping you off though. <laughs> Actually, not that bad. Now, what's, what's happening with you in the future? Have you got any back grand plans coming up? Yeah, a couple of exciting things. A big Blue Peter competition is happening very soon and I am trying to master a circus skill oh. that I won't tell you too much about oh, because my mum will cry. Soon. Okay. Well, we've got to say the Deadly Day Out is on tomorrow morning at the Forum. It is, that's right, in Norwich. Come on down for about 10 o'clock in the morning. And we have to say a big thank, thank you to everybody here. Whittingham the... Outdoor Centre and the Country Park. Thanks so much for having yes, us. Yes, and thank you to everyone here in our Live and Deadly audience. Make sure you tune in next week because our tour is carrying on round the country. Right, we'll yeah, see you then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.